In Power Mill 2015 or 2, user defined keyboard shortcuts have been included as an option. If I open up tools, there is now the option to customize keyboard shortcuts. So in this dialog box, I have a number of options available to me. If I want to see what a pre existing keyboard shortcut is, for example, for uh, a view, I can just click on it from here and then I will see the shortcut key here. So I can then remove that shortcut key and then reassign it to something else, which I like. Okay, so if I wanted to add in my own shortcut key, then all I have to do is on the keyboard choose which I would like so here I'm gonna hit control alt and backspace you can now see that it pops up on my shortcut key box here and it tells me which it currently accesses so if I go to the item you can see that control alt and backspace goes to my C drive into my rolling demo folder into my general macros and it activates a macro that I already have saved okay so if I wanted to assign a new shortcut key then again I can either hit control and alt I can also hit shift as well with control and then I choose any of the supported keys so the supported keys are a through Z, 0 through 9, F2 through F12, and then some arbitrary keys such as space, tab, enter, backspace, insert, delete, home, end, page up, page down, and the arrow keys. And I can also choose some other standard keys such as square back brackets, a plus, a minus, a hashtag, etc. Okay, so if I choose control shift hash, I want to add in a macro shortcut to that key. So I'm going to choose add macro shortcut and then I'm going to open up the location of that macro. So if I go to my C drive, go into my home folder pmail2 macros I have a list of available macros for me and I'm just going to choose black this is a very simple macro which just changes the background color of my workspace to black so again I was control alt shift hash and then I can just assign that so if I close that, change my background color to white, and now every time I hit Control, Alt, Shift, Hash, it will change to black. So with these shortcut keys, I can also add in a command shortcut. What I can also do is import and export these shortcuts to other workstations or other users using Paramil. Changes in the XML format will make this changes in the XML format will allow this to be used on older versions of Paramil 2. Okay, another improvement to user customization options is the ability to <coughs> another improvement to the user customization options is the ability to add in a user defined field as a custom toolbar item so if I go to view toolbar custom 
go to customize I'm going to turn on my custom toolbar number seven if I double click on it to edit it I can see that in my drop down menu for the type of toolbar item I can choose an expression and then once I have that chosen, I can add in any expression I like. So here I have three expressions added in. I have the tool number, three expressions added in. So if I close that and open up an old project, Okay, here I have an old project with uh, several toolpaths and different tools. And here is my custom toolbar with my user defined expressions. Similar to the expressions that I have, which are built into Paramel. So if I activate toolpath, so if I. Okay, so if I activate a roughing toolpath, my pre-existing Paramill expressions tell me the tolerance and the thickness and the tool diameter. But now using my custom user expressions, I can also see the values which I want to. So here I have the tool number, I have the step over value, and then I have the active toolpath tolerance. Activating new toolpath will change my custom expression items.